What's up everybody, my name is Blaze Tiger, back with another video, and we have the 11.30 of that, uh, November 30th update maintenance info here, and it's just like I assumed it would be, um, Droll is coming, so I figured it would be Droll since Galaxy didn't drop last week, Droll was going to drop this week, um, and I think from here on out, let me, uh, let's just, I want to make a guess, uh, I think they might drop I think East the thing that might go back to the disasters I think Easton might come out next and then they'll go with probably Red Lilia probably we'll just have to wait and see that's that's just what I assume it will be um, so Droll is here and Droll is actually kind of good especially Green Droll um, but this is a skip this is a hard skip um, characters like him will come back you're going to pull them a million times, especially like on festival banners and stuff like that. So everyone should definitely be saving their stones as of right now because I, if I remember correctly, Global's anniversary is around March 3rd, somewhere around there. So tomorrow is the first day. Well, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, Tuesday. Tuesday is the first day of December. So we have January, February, March. Well, January, February. We have December, January, February to save your stones um from now till then i know they're going to be big characters that are going to come out like ludocio who is actually a very good character who knows they might drop the archangel the two archangels early who knows they're going to do things to make people want to summon um yeah they're going to do things to make people want to summon but everyone should be saving their stones for the anniversary um, the anniversary should be uh, Festival King and uh, what's this? Uh, Demon Hendrix, which those two are very good units, especially King. So let's take a look at the uh, information that we have here. Uh, moments, moments we remember. Top five. Remember the fl uh, remember the flower fields. A more powerful Hendrix. Wait, what? Are they dropping Hendrix? Are they dropping Demon Hendrix early? A more powerful Hendrickson is coming. Clear the main story and important events again for all kinds of rewards. Wait. So are they going to drop Hendrix by him? Give Hendrix his own banner? Or the, or can they put Hendrix and Ludosio on the same map? I don't know. That's this is interesting. This is definitely because he is a must summon. Like Ludocio, to me, in my opinion, Ludocio is a must summon. He's a very good unit, good passive. Hendrix is a definite, definite summon. Like he's a character that you can run with like Keo, and he they will just do so much damage together. Um, so I don't know. I think Hendrix might be coming. We'll just have to wait and see. So this is an event. You clear it, get some rewards here. Super Awakening is on global, so we will be getting Super Awakening coins, and that's always good. Um, so event, here's some of the stuff that we'll be getting with the event. Player rank, XP doubled. Um, two times auto clear tickets from patrol missions. Cool. Player count events, rewards. Cool, cool, cool. Deathmatch rewards, good. Uh, new costumes for Droll, good. Um, two special bundles nothing too important there um and these characters will be getting engravings nothing that important and he will be added to the part two draw pool and then this one right here so that's all the information we have for now now normally a few hours before the maintenance there's more information that drops so they will most that would most likely be the same thing sorry the same thing might happen tomorrow before well today um before the uh, maintenance starts. So if there's any more information, I will definitely cover that. But this is a skip. You know, uh, again, you shouldn't really waste your stone summoning for him. If you want to, you can do a few summons and call it a day. But if he is definitely getting his own banner, because I don't see them giving us this guy for free. He's an actually really good, good unit. Um, I, I wouldn't have assumed they would have given us this Hendrix outside of the King banner. I don't think this means King is coming, right? Because we just had Goddess Liz. So I think they might just be dropping him 
by himself. We'll just have to wait and see. I mean, let me read that clear. Let me see. Remember the, the flower fields. A more Hendrickson is coming. I mean, that just tells me that the demon Hendrix is on his way to global. I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see. Um. So, hold on. So, if demon Hendrix is coming to global, right? Let's take a look at what... Oh, my God. One second. I'm sorry. Let me turn that off real quick. Okay. Take a look at what he can do. Uh, Dark Nebula inflicts damage equal to 86% of attack on all enemies. Shock for four turns. What does Shock do? Additional damage equal to 45% of damage dealt at the end of every turn. So you add this with, like, Keo, who's automatically adding, um, what's it, Ignite, I believe it is, uh, every turn. You're doing a lot of damage. Again, he is very, very good. Especially when you add him with, add him with uh, play him with Keo. Or, or King, the Festival King. Uh, Dark Snow inflicts damage equal to 76% of attack on all enemies. Makes target bleed for two turns. Oh, I'm sorry, we didn't even finish going through this one. <laughs> uh, rank 2, damage goes up to 129. Rank 3, damage goes up to 215. All right? Um... And a good thing about this is that even when rank one, it's, it lasts for four turns. So that's really good. Um, next skill, Dark Snow, inflicts damage equal to 76% of attack on all enemies. Makes target bleed. We know what that does, but we just go over it anyway. An additional damage equal to 90% of the damage dealt at the end of every turn. Fast for two turns. Damage goes up to 114% for second rank. Rank three goes up to 190 Ultimate dark, uh, Dead End inflicts weak point damage equal to 385% of attack on one enemy. Weak point, d uh, triple damage against debuffed enemies. All of his skills are debuffing the enemy, so you're doing a lot of damage. Um, passive Malice, increased damage of allies debuff attack skill by 50%. Again, <laughs> he's very good. Um... So yeah, that's Demon Hendrix if we are getting him. So let's go over Droll. So first one up here is Green Droll. Droll is a giant race of the giant race. Um, this is not the coin shop one. Uh, first skill, Giga Hammer. Inflicts detonate damage equal to 160% of attack on one enemy. Detonate 20% additional damage per orb in the target's ultimate move gauge. So for each um, ultimate move gauge the, the enemy has, it does 20% additional, um, additional damage. Um, rank 2, the damage goes up to 240%. Rank 3, damage goes up to 400%. Um, second skill, Bedrock Arise, inflicts damage equal to 120% of attack on all enemies. Rank 2, damage stays at 120 but disables buff and debuff skills for one turn. Uh, rank 3, damage goes up to 180%. Disables buff and debuff skills for two turns. Ultimate Gigafall. Inflicts charge damage equal to 455% of attack on all enemies. Charge ignores defense. Passive. Shackles. Every time an enemy... Alt Every time an enemy's ultimate move gauge reaches 5, disable ultimate moves for two turns. Now... <laughs> When you play with him right and put him on a good team, he can get very annoying. <laughs> um, commandment of patience. Apply a buff that increases resistance by 30% for three turns every time an ally or enemy receives damage from skills in PvP. Applies when entering battle. Limit three times. So he, Green Droll is very, very good. Don't get me wrong. He is very, very good. And um, that's what I'm saying. Like, if you decide you want to summon, do a few summons and then call it a day. But he will be back on a lot of other banners. You'll get him. Then he'll be on a coin shop. So, you know, you can always get him there. So that's Green Drill, my favorite one. Uh, now, this is Blue Drill. Um, first attack Heavy Assault inflicts damage equal to 200% of attack on one enemy. Rank 2 demonstrates a 200%, but he um, he applies Petrify for one turn. Petrify um, incapacitates target effect is removed when target is attacked. So we all know that. We have like characters like Merlin, 
uh, blue king that does that, right? Um, rank three, damage goes up to 250%. Petrify lasts for two turns. Um, second skill, heavy metal, taunts enemies and increases HP related stats by 50% for one turn. Becomes immune to petrification effects. So you can't petrify him once he's in this form. Uh, rank 2 um, taunts enemies and increases HP related stats by 20% instead of 15 and that's for, and it lasts for 2 turns rank 3 it goes up to 30% and it still lasts for 2 turns ultimate's the same thing passive earth, earth's blessing increase all allies attack by 3% for every buff on the hero and then the commandments the same. So I mean, I'm not saying that blue troll is bad or anything like that. I just love blue green troll better. So um, that's all I have for this one, guys. If you do decide to summon, I wish you best of luck. Again, you should really try and save your stones for more hype events, more hype banners that are to come. Especially if this Hendrix thing is coming, he must might get his own banner he could be coming with the Lodosho. who knows we'll again there might be more information before the update so we'll just have to wait and see but that's all i have for this one guys if you enjoyed the video please feel free to drop a like subscribe and hit that notification bell to know when i upload my next video i will catch you guys on the next one